Mary Madden, and I would like to give you your, one of your first classes in basic beauty culture. Our subject today will be the basic finger waves. My model has been pre-shampooed. Consequently, I will not shampoo her at this time. But do remember that when you're shampooing, to keep the cape outside of the chair so the water does not drip down the patron's back and cause stain on her clothing. Let's begin by giving you a lecture on the horizontal finger wave. Beginning on the heavy side of the head, comb a C shaping into the hair. Placing the finger at the one side of the peak point, bring the hair forward, holding the thumb back and the comb between the fingers. Pull forward for approximately a quarter of an inch. Flatten the comb, hold with the middle finger, put the index finger on the comb, and roll in the opposite direction until you have thoroughly smoothed this hair. Taking the fingers off very carefully, you have your first wave pattern. Continuing on back the heavy side of the head, again, bring the hair forward. Placing the comb approximately a quarter of an inch below the finger, pull again in the direction that you are going. Place the, in, the middle finger above the ridge, the index finger on the ridge, and roll out into the opposite direction, completely smoothing that wave. When you have gotten approximately three quarters of the way back on this head, begin your C shaping. Now this will connect the wave on each side of the head. This shaping continues all the way around the crown to the fine side of the head. Beginning now on the front end of the fine side, be, and with your finger at right angles to the part, begin the C shaping forward. Make the first ridge forward, hold, hold, and roll out in the opposite direction. Replacing the finger again, comb the hair forward. Push, flatten, hold, hold and roll out in the opposite direction, being sure to smooth the hair. The important thing is to remember is not to squeeze the hair, but to rotate or roll the finger. It's hold, and as you come down, lift the middle finger off, replace the middle finger, get the comb way up under the index finger. Continue on around the crown of the head, being careful to smooth the hair as you go. You'll notice that this being a horizontal wave, it is now matching the opposite side. In other words, what is the push on one side bec becomes the pull on the opposite side. Again, continuing right around the crown area of this head, you are now matching perfectly the wave on the heavy side of the head. When you have completed the heavy side and have matched your pattern, begin again on the heavy side of the head with a C shaping at the temple area, being sure to keep the hair moist at all times. Your small C shaping at the temple area. Again, bring the hair forward, flatten, hold, hold and roll out in the opposite 
direction. Replacing the fingers on the ridge above to keep this ridge in place, again, pull, flatten, hold, hold, and roll out in the opposite direction. Replacing the finger on the ridge above, again, pull, flatten, hold, hold, and roll out in the opposite direction. You can see now how easy it becomes to match the wave completely around the head. This is just simple horizontal matching. The important thing to remember is that you hold your ridges in place. Hold, hold. Pull, flatten, hold, hold, and roll out toward the face. Now, because you can't fit a wave, another wave, I should say, on the fine side of the head, we could go to just behind the ear. And again, push, flatten, hold, Hold and roll out in the opposite direction. Again, holding the top ridge in place, push, flatten, hold, hold, and roll out in the opposite direction, keeping the hair as smooth as possible. Again, push, flatten, hold, hold, and roll out in the opposite direction. Again, push, flatten, hold, hold, and roll out in the opposite direction. Now, just for a little interest on this head, suppose we complete this side with a few pin curls going back so that it will flip slightly on one side. But continue your finger wave to the bottom of the head. Again, pull, flatten, hold, hold, and roll out in the opposite direction. Holding the ridge firm, pull, flatten, hold, hold, and roll out in the opposite direction. Again, pull, flatten, hold, hold, and roll out in the opposite direction. You'll notice we are completing our finger wave now. It's just a simple horizontal finger wave with a series of C curls. These curls are ribboned at the end. The ends are lifted into position and clipped to the base just for movement or direction onto the face. Going back now to the heavy and fine side of the head, the fine side always has the part, contains the least, of uh, least amount of hair. The heavy side contains the most amount of hair. Today's class will be on the vertical finger wave, beginning, of course, with a side part and remembering to keep the hair thoroughly wet at all times. Beginning on the fine side of the head. C-shape the hair away from the face. Bring the first ridge down in front of the ear. Continuing up, hold the hair firmly and push flatten, hold, hold, and roll out in the opposite direction, being sure to smooth that hair thoroughly. Your second ridge goes up. It's pull, flatten, hold, hold, and roll out in the opposite direction. Again, holding the first ridge firm, pull, 
flatten, hold, hold and roll out in the opposite direction. Again, pull, flatten and roll out in the opposite direction. The third ridge will return down. It's push, flatten, hold, hold, and roll out in the opposite direction. Push, flatten, hold, hold, and roll out in the opposite direction. This is continued on completely around the head and finished off with pin curls on one side. It is very important to keep the hair thoroughly wet and smoothly combed at all times while finger waving. I'm going to show you now the horseshoe finger wave. This wave is done without a part. The hair is combed thoroughly back, ridged to one side or the other, and again, you'll notice that the action is the same. The hair is pulled, flattened, held, held, and rolled out into the opposite direction. Just remember that no matter what finger wave you are doing, it is always a push and a pull method. Push. Keep the hair thoroughly combed and very smooth. Pull, flatten, hold, hold, and roll out in the opposite direction, continuing this horseshoe pattern until you have completed the entire head. This is our plain horizontal finger wave, matching, of course, the crown. On this, we will do the comb out. It's a very simple comb out. It is just to give you hair direction. Thoroughly brush the hair. Now we will go through the outline again with the comb. All right, to complete our comb out now, I would like to lightly blouse the top into position just to give a little more lift away from the scalp, a little more flare to the waves. And finally, I would like to thank you for your attention. And we will be taking you into the vertical finger waving and the finger waving at some later date.